Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, here we are. Just, just cleared out this joint. Finished the Miniman first quest. I'm gonna head back. I'm not gonna deal with any of their BS initially. I'll get that whole tutorial thing done just for the XP here, whenever they show up. Um, and uh, and for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, drop off whatever crap that I got, and then and also my suit, and then. Uh, Head back, pick up a few things that I wanted from there. I don't really need a new, uh... Whoops. Yeah, there's little pop-ups. I, I thought I looked and seen if you could get rid of that crap. Keep this. Well, yeah, yeah, it's really not something I'm gonna use. That's one thing. The pipe revolver that shoots 45s. I just don't care for it. There's no real good mods for it. It's just not that good at all. Oh, I could probably build my bobblehead stand now. No, oh, I'll do that. Oh, where is it? There we go. Eventually, I should probably put in some. Uh, lighting. Oh, I still got a minigun. I might as well hold on to that. Ten millimeter pistol looks a little funky. I mean, I don't know. It's just let's pull it out here. It's just it's so big. It's clunky. I don't know. It looks pretty good fully modded out. But I mean, it would be a hell of a gun to pistol whip somebody with with all that just slab of metal. So now we're gonna go up. I was gonna go to locksmith and gun nut. So we're going to go from 18 to 27 damage. So what do I got? That was actually a little expensive. And what else we got? Yeah. Pipe pistol. Yeah, I'll hold off on that. I'll save my crap. And just maintain this. It aims a little slower though after you put that stuff on there. And now transfer out this. Oh, I better pick this. Just so I could finish up well. that. What? Why is there only two? Oh. Slap that down. Now the reason why I'm picking those and putting them down, if you don't already know, is for the minimum quest. They want a little bit of food and water and all that. So I just do this early on. You will not find much of that. You won't be able to complete this part without a little bit of work. All the rest should be easy. There we go. So now it's time to head on back and do a little looting. Now there is this one. God, I forget what it's called. Speakeasy. Concord Speakeasy. So now there's a few things up there that I want. 
Uh, but the problem is, is L4 on you right now. It's going to get a little laggy. And I just don't really know why it does it. It's really like the only, well, I think there's one other spot in the game that I've found that is laggy for no real apparent reason. Uh, well, not laggy, it's just it, your frame rate just takes a big old shit. And it's not, I mean, unless there's a lot of stuff in a condensed area, it just seems like it was um, something that they just didn't, it was an oversight. Or maybe it's just my computer, I don't know. So right here, now get ready for it to get a little funky. The frame rate's going to drop. And I'm just going to go through it real fast, pick up a couple things, and then... Uh, head on out. But as you see, there's a there's a huge drop. Oh, I need that desk pen. Nothing over there. It is in certain areas. I don't know if they got like some kind of weird lighting going on. Or what. It's not too bad down here. And I, I'm not sure if it's the same deal. I haven't done any real research on it or looked it up to see if it's a problem anywhere else um, for other consoles or anything. I mean, I would assume. And speaking of consoles, yes. you know, I know this game runs on it. 30 frames per second. It's just... It's too bad, really, that... Consoles just seem to be so underpowered. Um, you know, relative to the technology that we have out right now, I understand that they have to keep a price point. But when you play a game on them, it just doesn't feel like it's a very good port of what the game should be played like. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what to think about the new consoles. It's not like, okay, they work well for a lot of games, but this one you got a, like a high-end game. Alright, I'm out of here. Put you guys through that shit. Higher-end games like this game, where it's large, wide open, good graphics, it's just it can't run it. And that's really surprising for the next generation console. I just feel that either they should increase the price and make it so that it works good, or Hell, I don't know. I, I just built a computer for my girlfriend's mom using a G3258 CPU. That's just a two-core processor. It's at 3.2, um, which I could uh, which I could overclock. And then I also used a 750Ti video card. Um, and that alone is more powerful than the consoles. It's stupid the way that is, and that was a, that was just a budget bill to be able to run certain games on it. But it could run games at 60 frames per second, and it's just it could run this. I mean, it wouldn't look as good. It wouldn't be all ultra and everything. But for for the cost of everything, it's just I'm not seeing the the reason why it's so expensive for so little. It's just a, it was a minor improvement over the previous generation. All they did is uh, like they bought a little better graphics card, and that's about it. I mean, equivalent to like a PC. Like it just it bumped things up a little bit to make it run a little better, and that's all. It was just like to me, it feels like it was just a cash grab. They could have done a lot better, but they didn't, and that's sad. You know, don't get me wrong, I love the consoles, but I just this new generation feels underpowered oh, nice. overall. And yeah, I just, this sucks. Because otherwise, you know, if they weren't so underpowered, I probably wouldn't be PC gaming really that much. I wouldn't be playing this on the PC. I'd be playing it on the console. But it, it kind of drove me to being like, well, it. I don't like frame rates dropping below 15 at certain times. That sucks. Unless there's like a glitch in the game. But just from playing the game, having those huge drops, eh. That makes you want to upgrade. And so, at least with a PC, you could buy something that will, you know, you could adjust it, tune it to run at 60 frames per second. It might not look the greatest, or you might not have to drop, but at least you got to run it smooth. And that's number one, numero uno in my game. 
my book is that things run smooth. It, that, that just is a total break from the game itself. You know, the, the immersion is that when it stutters or lags or anything, I know, you know, it's just, you can't help it. But for me, if I can help it, if I could make it better by getting better equipment, then I will. So it it's just the shitty thing is PC gaming is actually kind of expensive um, if you're both going to do console and PC. So it takes a little bit of saving and research and all that but I'm happy that I did in the end you know a good PC is beyond it was well beyond the uh... oh jesus scare the hell out of me my kneecap I don't even know what's going on here. Ah, Jesus, bats. Should've just shot him. That was just way too over dramatic. And that's the second time that happened. I mean, that's cool, you know, I get crap from these guys. A lot of times there's guys that just stand around and Tato, I need that Tato. I need to take a little nap next to a dead body. <clears throat> Alright, got some ammo. A whole bunch of 38 ammo. You know, I should probably. Oh, I don't equip my loading lines. Check them for any. Eh, nothing I could use. So, oh yeah, there's one more body that I want to loot before it. Damn, there's a whole underground too. What the? Huh, that's weird. That thing's probably gonna go nuclear. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there goes the second one. Yeah, this shit's funny. All the cars just completely blow up. Now there's a desk man up in that church I might grab real fast too before the video ends. So, yeah, you know, I do feel like these videos are a little slow because I am starting the, uh, starting the, you know, an entire walkthrough. And so it will be kind of slow in the beginning. I do need to gather up a few things before I could really go ape shit with going out and smoking stuff. I mean, I could right now, but once I reach, like, super mutants and stuff, I'm gonna wanna have a little bit of a... Don't think I can pick this. Be able to, you know, be able to stop some stuff. Because right now, it just, I'd waste a lot of ammo. And that's one thing I really wanna do, is make it so that I'm strong enough to where I'm not just blowing through clips of ammo trying to get through certain areas. So anyway, all right, well, now let me head back to Sanctuary, drop off some shit, and then I think what I'm going to do is, hmm, well, I better try to make it to Diamond City, so I'll just start heading towards Diamond City. Um, and then along the way, I'll probably meet up with the Brotherhood, and then... So I don't want that combat knife. Switchblade. Oh yeah.
All right, so I just did that, so I got my long range. I will be putting a point into Sniper just because of the steady aim, and I probably will do upgrade a piece of armor to stabilize that. So when I crouch, I actually don't have to hold my breath. That'll be a little later, though. So this will go there. Um, this will go there. Combat knife. knife. And machete. I don't know why I picked up the machete. I guess it's just a cell. Hmm. Now the reason why I got a combat knife is, you know, those little Mirelurk bug things. I don't feel like shooting those, so I just usually stab them. And that's enough for me. All right. And all this stuff I'm just going to sell. I got a chance. And that's about that, so we're going to end the video here, and then we're going to start out from here in the next one. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.